they would say, I will fade it unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I have fainted unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Oh, Father God, right now, Lord, bless this person that I have tuned into this video, oh God. Open their mind, open their heart, open their spirit, Lord, to believe on their dream. Knowing a dream gonna come to pass. Oh God, bless them in a mighty, matchless name. Above all name, the name Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Ten reasons why you should never give up on your dreams. Ten reasons why you should never give up on your dream. Hey, glory to God. And the number one reason is God is bigger than this. Hey, glory to God. Whatever problem or situation you are going through in your life, whether there are lack, knowing that God will provide. Hey, glory to God. Amen. The Bible says, is anything too hard for God? We serve a God of possibility. So God is bigger than than this. I don't know what your this is. Whether you're going through problems in your marriage. Whether you're going through difficulty. Can't provide food for your family. I'm telling you, sister and brother. God is bigger than this. Hallelujah. Number two. It is better you are coming after all this. Hey, glory to God. You are better, my friend. Hey, glory to God. You are coming after. After all of this, whatever you went through in your life, my friend, you are still living. You didn't get drowned. You didn't get 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 under. You didn't get burned. You've been in the fire, but it didn't get burned. You've been in the water, but it didn't drown. Because you are better. You are coming from all this. The Bible says, hallelujah, in Romans 8.28, Hallelujah. Knowing that, that all things work together for good to them that love God. Who them are called according to his purpose. So all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. Number three. You are fearful and beautiful in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never let the devil think you are ugly. Never let the devil think that he's not afraid of you. Because the devil is afraid of you. The Bible saying the devil believe and tremble. So imagine if you are a Christian. Hey, glory to God. The devil is a free. You are a threat to the devil kingdom. And you are beautiful in God. The Bible saying. Favor is the seat. Hey, glory to God. And beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. So if you are a believer in Christ, you are beautiful. Glory to God. You might look like a baboon, my friend. You might look like a monkey. But God, you are beautiful in God. Hallelujah. Number fourth reason, I'm not bitter, but I'm Better after the hurts. Hey, glory. I'm not bitter. Hey, glory to God. I'm better because that is making who I am in God. If I never go through problems, I will never know that He's a problem solver. If I never been broke, I will never know that God will provide. If I never been sick, I will never know that He's a healer. So I'm not bitter. I'm better after. This hurt. Number five. You are too blessed to stop hoping for the best. Come on. Don't never give up on your dreams. Hey, glory to God. Your dream going to happen. Your dream going to come to reality. Your dream will make room for you. Hey, glory to God. Number six reason. It come to blast. Not jump, not just come to pass. It come to blast. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Your dream gonna happen. And when your dream come, my friend, 
people are going to know that your dream is here. Look at Joseph. Joseph dreamed of his brother bowing to him. And he said, here come the dream. And they put Joseph in a pit. He glory to God. Hallelujah. And they walked away. And they pull him up. And they, they sent him to the Ishmaels. And, they, and they, they, they sold Joseph to the Ishmael. And they went to Egypt. And when they went to Egypt, he was a part of a house. He glory to God. So from, from the pit. To the part of a house, and guess what happened? He went to the prison. Hey, glory to God! But that's not the end of the story. He went to the palace, and he become prince. Hey, glory to God in Egypt. So I'm telling you, don't never give up on your dream. They might put you in the pit. You might went to glory to God part of a house. You might went to the prison, but guess what? You go into the palace, and you become prince. In the palace. So never, never gives up on your dream. Because my friend, number six, it, it come to blast. Not just come to pass. Number seven, my dream is bright and out of sight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My, my, my dream is so bright. I'm not going to give up on my dream. I'm not going to give up my dream of owning a television station. I'm not going to give up my dream of owning a glory to God, a, a, a radio station. I'm not going to give up my dream of becoming glory to God, a, 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 a CEO of, of Destiny Youth Institute Center. I'm not going to give up my dream, my friend, because my dream going to come to pass. Hey, glory to God. And it come with a blast. Hey, glory to God. Amen. My dream is bright and it's out of sight. Number eighth reason, you have the bishop of your soul on your, on your side, which is the Holy Ghost. You have the bishop, hallelujah, in your soul, hallelujah, which is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is your prophet, my friend. It shows you things to come to pass. The Holy Ghost is your teacher. It will teach you all things. The Holy Ghost is a comforter. It will comfort you when you are sorrow. I'm talking about the bishop of your soul. Number nine reason, you are built on a rock of promises. Two, I can tell you, my friend. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, the race is not given to the swift neither to the strong, but to those that endure unto the end. We got to hold on to the promises of God. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not war. The Lord is the light of my salvation. Whom shall I be afraid? So we got to hold on to the promises of God. Find your promise and meditate on it. My friend, hallelujah, it will give you no chance, no choice of believing to give up on your dream. If you want to dream become a doctor, you can still be a doctor. Become a, become a dream of being an author, you can be an author. Being a dream to, to travel the, the continent world with the gospel of Jesus Christ, keep on dreaming. But my friend, your dream will make room for you. He glory to God. Hallelujah. And number ninth reason, so number tenth reason, seeing the beyond, not just the present. Seeing the beyond. Hallelujah. What is the beyond? The beyond is the invisible. You might say, oh, I can't, I can't, my dream not going to happen. Hey, glory to God. His brothers say, come on, Joseph. <laughs> Your dream ain't going to happen. We ain't going to bow down to you, Joseph. But Joseph say, yes, I dream the sun and the moon. And the father rebuke him. But the father ponder in his heart about the dream. And my friend, the dream came to pass when there was a famine in Egypt. And Joseph orchestrated. And make room to make provision. Glory to God for his family. So I'm telling you my friend. Never gives up 
own your dream. Your dream will be a blast for you. Your dream will be a reality for you. But you got to see the beyond. You got to see the beyond the stars and the moon, my friend. You got to see beyond your present situation. You got to see beyond the roaches and the, and the rats and, and the cockroaches and, and the lack, the empty refrigerator. You got to see beyond your situation. You got to see beyond your sickness. Hey, glory to God. You got to see beyond your lacking. You got to see beyond you working just one day a week. See yourself beyond. And the reason why I say this, my friend, is in Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verse 1. He said, now faith is a subject of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. By it, the elders obtain a good report. What I'm saying, my friend, you got to have faith. Faith move mountain. Have faith in God. Hallelujah. Without faith, it's impossible. Please, God, he that come to God must, must be assured that he's a believer. Glory to God. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. He that come to God must first believe that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Get behind me, Satan. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hebrews 11, chapter verse 6. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You must have faith to move mountain. Have faith so your dream will become a reality. Because without it, it's impossible. Possible, please God, he that come to God but first believe that he's a reward of them that diligently. What diligently mean? Diligent mean continually seeking God. Hey, glory to God. I can I can remember when 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 Daniel put in the lion den, my friend, and how the king cried out, Daniel, Daniel, the servant of the most high. That God whom you serve diligently, will he, hallelujah, make you escape the lions? Pause. He said, oh, king, the God has sent his angel down and rescued me. Hallelujah. So diligently mean you got to continue searching, continue serving, continue saying, Lord, I thank you. And believe, my friend, your dream will happen. But you can't you can't stop your dream by just giving up on your dream. You gotta nurture your dream. You gotta you gotta see the beyond your dream. See beyond glory to God. You going through what you're going through, my friend. Just don't stop. Hallelujah. But keep on going on. And if you keep on going on, your dream will happen. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Those four lepers men that was at the gate, my friend, they say, why sit we here until we die? If we get up, we're going we gonna to die anyway. So let's get up and go to the city and enjoy. Hey, glory to God. And the Bible say, when those four lepers men got up and they went into the city, my friend, the city was empty. Hey, glory. The only thing that was in the city was the goods. Hallelujah. Everybody left, hallelujah, everything for them. Oh, glory to God. But the Bible say those men came to their senses and say, Why sit we here until we die? I come and tell you, sister and brothers that's out there looking at the video, you can live if you get up. Hallelujah. You can live if you activate your dream. You can live by not just sitting there and expecting a job to fall on your lap. Expecting a million dollar to fall on your lap. You gotta get up, oh glory to God, and go. And when you get up and go, my friend, your dream will come to pass. I come and tell you, my friend, dreams happen and dreams come to reality, but you gotta nurture your dream. Hallelujah, glory to God. So those ten lepers, those four lepers, man, they got up, my friend, and when they went to the city, oh glory to God, the city was empty, and people have left the goods for the lepers men. 
So I'm telling you, your dream will come to reality if you don't give up on your dream. Oh, Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, bless this sister, bless this brother, bless this mother, and bless this father. Even bless this teenager that's watching this video right now. Let them nurture their dreams. Let them nurture their vision. Because the Bible says, without a vision, the people perish, oh God. Bless my sister, bless my brother, in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. Bless right now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Richly is my prayer.